in this video we are uh, we'll be covering uh, a topic on how to run dot jar files on windows 10 if you find yourself unable to open dot jar files on windows 10 it is likely due to one of the reasons we are going to describe in this video either the java runtime environment is not properly set to run dot jar files or Windows registry is not calling JRE, which is Java Runtime Environment, properly. So what we need to do is to reassociate the JAR files with the Java binary, and um, let's see how we can do that. So first, we need to make sure that we have the latest Java Runtime Environment. For the purpose, we need to launch a browser. So let's launch a browser and let's go to this URL. And let's say URL. This URL is given in video description. Let's click on the download and then agree start pre download so it's gonna take a while let me pause the video and zoom it back in okay so the download is complete so, run it Yes, for the USC prompt. Click next. Click OK. Let's wait for the installation to get done. Okay, so the installation is done. Now we need to navigate to our Java installation folder. So let's say we go to C, Java files, Java, and then bin. And from here, let's find java.exe. Let's um, change the view and say um, to show file with open its properties. And then click on compatibility tab and then check the box to say run this program as an administrator. Now click on apply and OK. Let's close this window. Press Windows and next key. Select the command from admin or PowerShell admin. If you are in PowerShell, type cmd. Now, we need to run this command which says. file type which is that type space so 
kapatın. Bir de space dolu flash gaz. Dolu flash k space. C. Program files. Dolu space. Backlash for the exact installation directly, we can again navigate to the location where we have installed Java. So let's go to program files, Java, JRE, then copy this location and then paste it in here. Backlash java.exe space percentage one then percentage asterisk equal to string now Let's say let's press enter. Types done. Now, now try to launch the jar file. The Java executable should either launch or launch with the persistent quant from behind it. Um, however, if the steps did not work, then we need to tweak our history. So let's say press Windows and R key, type reg edit, hit enter, and then click on yes. For the USB prompt. Let me close out all this tree. We need to go HK classes root. Expand it. And here we need to find JAR auto file. So let's press J. So we have jar file term. We also need to have jar auto file folder. So in both of the folder, we uh, since in this on this computer we don't have the jar auto file which you might have, and uh, we do have jar file term. So we need to go to shell. And then click on open and then expand command the same structure will be available in jar auto file so in the command we'll see a key says default right click on it and say modify now in the value data we need to paste command which we used in the command prompt earlier so let's say if this command is exactly what we put there so in this example we have the same command already in there as we did in the command prompt so for the java file term command prompt command folder and for java jar auto um, file folder uh, this command value data should be same command that we used in uh, in the shell earlier now exit the regedit and try to open your jar files this should work 
fine uh, after performing these steps. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.